evening, good afternoon, good night, whatever time it is for you. I hope you are having an amazing day and it is about time that I film a Q&A for this channel. I filmed one a long time ago and I actually ended up losing the footage for it, which is, oh, feels bad, man. Uh, if you are noticing this mark on my top is because I just put lip gloss on and I happened to drop some on my top and I think we can all get past it and ignore it. Yes, okay. So I asked Instagram what they wanted to know from me and here are the responses i don't think you guys are ready for these because we got some we got we got some interesting ones in here i'm gonna just go through and answer them all here we go my favorite skin on fortnite i knew this one was going to come up especially because the power core just recently got released i keep getting asked uh what my opinions are the fact that they re-released it i think it's totally cool because i love that skin and i'm just happy that more people in my community can love that skin um, power cord was my favorite for a while mostly because a lot of people didn't buy it it was kind of rare uh, now it's not rare anymore so I've actually been just going through a lot of different skins I really really like the new calamity skin especially because the upgraded versions are poggers and they look awesome she's just a kick butt cowgirl and I think she's great and I'm really excited for Red Dead Redemption which I already saw as one of the next questions what is my next game I'm excited for playing some Red Dead Redemption because it's just a wholesome good fun game that I get to collect and ride horses and what more do you want in a video game than that? How old am I and how long have I been streaming? So I do get this question a lot. I am 26 years old. I was born February 16th, 1992. You have the same birthday as me. Let me know we are twinning. And I have been streaming for five years. December 18th is my five year anniversary. So four and a half years or four years and three quarters. I'm getting really close to my five year anniversary, which is kind of blowing my mind. Uh, I never really saw myself like, you know, you can't really project and I didn't even know I would make it past the first year. So the fact that I've made it all the way to five years blows my mind and will definitely be doing a really fun party. My plan is to do an OG kitty stream and I want to do like whiteboard, OG outfit, you know, moonwalk for subscribers, open some Counter-Strike cases, play some Counter-Strike and some Gargario, just like mess around and have fun. So that's coming up soon um and keep an eye out for that are you ticklish this is a good question and actually i feel like everything that happens physically is a lot in your head so i learned this actually when i was at canyon ranch in tucson in arizona and it was a meditation that we did that you know a lot of people go there who are having chronic pain or are looking to get some health solutions so they have other types of pain and one of the meditations was um when you're meditating is to tell yourself I, oh, physical, this is just physical. This is physical, you know, physical. Um, and you can actually detach from your pain and then you don't feel pain. And I can do the same thing with ticklish or with being ticklish. I think when I get caught off guard, like my butt's really ticklish. I know that sounds really weird, but like if someone comes and like touches my butt, I get really ticklish like, ah, like that. But yeah, no, other than that, I don't think I'm ticklish. My feet aren't ticklish, my armpits aren't ticklish, my neck's not ticklish. Oh, maybe like if, if people blow on my neck, like when you go in for a hug with someone, they blow on your neck. That's like, I don't know if that's ticklish though. It just makes me cringe. Uh, you mentioned your dad a lot. What are some things about your mom? My mom is amazing, fantastic, beautiful woman. She is creative. She is into fashion and design and color. And she's just a huge positive inspiration for me and I definitely credit a lot of the light that you see in me from seeing the her light and then cultivating my own light so she's pretty awesome and if you guys I think you've probably seen her on the vlogs if you follow my Kristen Mikhaila vlog channel or if you watch there's like 300 vlogs on this channel right now that you guys might not have seen go and check those out because I vlogged for like 200 days in a row and it's pretty crazy to see the difference and see how far we've come um, but I'm definitely proud of where I am now. Uh, what do you like about being a streamer? So this doesn't go for all streamers, but this is for me. Um, for me, I really love the freedom of it. I've never been someone that has been able to do what other people tell me or do anything that I don't love to do. So I knew very early on as a child that I would need to figure out something um, where I could do what I love for a living and um, be my own boss and it's just great to be able to do as much or as little as you want when it comes to streaming um, but that also uh, definitely creates a lot of insecurity about um, whether or not you're doing enough. What is your biggest regret in life and how do you deal with it or are you dealing with it? So I'm definitely someone who has zero regrets in life now. Um, I, when I was younger, I probably had a lot more, but what I've learned is every single person I meet is doing the best they can with what they have and what they know. And I feel like I'm the exact same way. 
um, everything up to this point, you know, I'm just doing my best. So if I've made any mistakes or not worked hard enough or made bad decisions, it's just, it's gotten to where I am, gotten me to where I am now. And I'm very satisfied and happy with where I am now. So I have nothing to complain about. So therefore I have nothing to regret. Um, but I'll let you know if I have any regrets or if I think of anything, but right now I can't think of anything. Where do you plan on traveling next? So I was thinking of going to Costa Rica after TwitchCon that was on my list. Uh, I want to go surfing and um, go in nature again. I love the jungle and it has both things there as the beach and it has a lot of eco reserves and jungles and things like that. So uh, Costa Rica, maybe in October. Um, and then I think I'm going to go visit Shiax, who's another streamer. She lives in Portugal. I've never been to Portugal. I would really like to go there in November. And then December, I want to do something like Aspen or another American um, ski lodge. I want to go snowboarding and do like lodge life, get an Airbnb, uh, that kind of thing. So that's on my list uh, for December. But December is a really, really crazy streaming month because everyone just wants to be cozy and play video games and have fun together. So it's my favorite time of the year to stream and do events with that and dress up as Santa Claus or Mrs. Claus and elves. And I get a little carried away with Christmas, but um, we'll see how long I travel for. I might push that back to January. And a lot of you guys have been asking where my vlogs are for that. I have been filming every trip that I've been on this year, but instead of releasing all the vlogs, which I wanted to, I just didn't have enough content, I think, and they weren't wrapped up nice enough. So it would just be like random clips from my trip, which if you're interested in that, I can still upload it. But what I was thinking of doing is making like a longer vlog, like maybe like an hour um, and do, or like an hour and 20 minutes, or maybe something like that, or like 45 minutes where it's just, a video of me explaining why I decided to travel every month um, for a week uh, this year and how it's made an impact on me and then show you a little bit about each of the places I chose and what they were good for, what they weren't good for and how I'd recommend things. So if you think that, that would be interesting, just let me know down in the comments and then I will pursue it. You. Would you ever do a meet and greet? So I get to ask this question a lot. Whenever I go to events, obviously I do meet and greets, where whether it's a convention um, or a conference or uh, just any sort of like gaming competition event. There's always a meet and greet. Um, so I will be attending TwitchCon. I don't have a meet and greet, um, but I'll plan something spontaneously. So just stay tuned to my Twitter and Instagram. If I ever am in the city, I do try and plan to meet you guys. It's just sometimes difficult for me to plan meet and greets on top of planning just my daily life when I'm in another country and then making sure everything back home is moving um, and functioning as well do you watch anime yes i love anime my current favorites right now are uh overlord attack on titan hero academia those are the ones i've been watching this season but yeah no i'm a huge huge anime fan i just i really really like anime as a way just to relax and um if i'm feeling really bored or just need some time to like not worry about stuff anime is a really good distraction from my daily life and things like that so yes i love anime uh so there's a lot of questions asking if i'm single no i am not single if you guys made it out to one of my ladies or my guys night you guys would have seen and met my partner his name is glenn we've been together for five years off and on and he's an amazing man i love him so much and he grounds me, he loves me unconditionally, he celebrates me, he allows me to grow and bloom as an individual, and he's just an amazing person. So if you guys want to see him, you can go back in my VODs or my ladies or my guys nights. He hosts guys nights now, which if you want to join him and the other guys on my sub team, uh, October 20th is guys night, October 13th is girls night, and we'll also be doing an LGBTQ, LGBTQ plus evening as well, which is gonna be fun. So I haven't planned a date for that one, but it'll be sometime in October. So stay tuned for that. They're really great. They're live on my stream and we get to cover a lot of different topics. You can also watch the VOD if you go and check out my Twitch channel. Is there anything that you want to change in your life? This is a really good question and it's definitely um, something that I've grown towards not having. Um, I'm definitely somebody who's always focused on prog progress and growing and changing and blooming and blah, blah. Um, so I think I'm always trying to change something about myself. Uh, I definitely want, um, to have more, uh, drive to get out and do stuff when I am in my own city. I have a tendency when I'm binging streaming or vlogging or whatever it is, or he's just covered in jewel, just to get very introverted and just very focused on what I'm doing in my life. And, um, that's why I do the travel once a month for a week thing is because it just gets me out. And so, well, when I'm at home, I'm just like, 
at home working, emailing, meeting, streaming, content creation, that kind of stuff. So it's really nice for me when I travel, I get like my full fill of um, experience. So I don't do a lot of stuff. So I think what I would like to change is probably next year, I want to definitely balance more um, activities into my regular life, maybe join a club maybe get back into competitive horseback riding, things like that. Like I want, I really want to get my scuba license. I really want to play more tennis. I really would like to have more of a gym routine again. But one of the downsides of being a streamer is you get very, um, and I think anyone who's ever streamed who's watching this right now would agree. You get very like locked in. You're just like, I don't know. Yeah, it's hard, it's hard to describe, but it's definitely something that happens. And I don't think it's just for streaming. I think it's with any job. You just one day you look up and you're like, what did I just do for the last 30 days other than work? <laughs> uh, can we be friends? Yes, no, of course we can be friends. I am open to being each and every single one of your friends. It is my goal and path in this life to love and appreciate other people and to set an example of love and light and acceptance um, so I am happy to be your friend. Yes, I, I would love to. What brands do you usually like to wear? I love you so much, by the way. Hello, Majestic. Um, so I, I love wearing a lot of things, to be honest. Um, I actually cut back my wardrobe to only 33 items. So this is one of 33 pieces that I own currently, uh, not counting my snowboard wear and now my hiking gear because I just bought some more stuff for Peru. Um, but I do need to get some more clothing. Um, what I've noticed now is I'm not, I'm not excited to put clothes on in the morning anymore, which is weird for me because normally I love like putting outfits together and things like that. I think I've just gotten, um, bored of my clothes. So I, I'm going to be doing a purge and revamp. I also feel like I'm changing a lot as a person as well. If you guys have been here for the past five years, you probably have watched me change. And so I'm ready for a new outfit, but I really like the brand Aritzia. They've got a bunch of different local Vancouver designers that make really amazing pieces. It's good quality. Um, it is expensive, but it lasts a long time and all their clothes just seem to look good on me. So I really, really like it as a brand. And yeah, that was my favorite, that's my favorite brand right now, I would say. Uh, what is your Halloween costume going to be? I'm still working on my power cord cosplay. Um, I need to get a leopard stencil for my pants to make the pants. Um, and then the pink wig I ordered from China and it was supposed to get here a long time, but it still hasn't arrived. So I'm working on it. What would you change if you could go back in time to an 18 year old Kristen? I would definitely go back and tell her, Kristen, you do not need to listen to what society is telling you right now. Everything in your heart is right. Your drive and determination to live a good life is all there and it's all amazing and it's all fantastic and you can accomplish absolutely anything that you want to and you put your mind to. You just need to start stepping. Just step, just take that step. It doesn't matter if you don't know how to set up uh, a YouTube channel. It doesn't matter if you don't know anything about editing or videography, which I did know a little bit back then, but it doesn't matter how much you know about anything. Just start working towards it and stop comparing yourself to people who are halfway or all the way through their journey in a certain space. You are a baby. You are a little egg. You are just learning to bloom and you're just learning to grow and it's okay to be exactly where you are. Just start stepping. Just start taking those steps that you want towards the life that you want because your dreams are possible and you are strong enough and powerful enough to create that for yourself. That's what I would tell her. Uh, things I'd see myself doing if I wasn't a streamer. So this is a hard question because if it in this moment I stopped being a streamer and I went and I pursued something, it would definitely be something in entrepreneurship, business creation, branding, marketing, uh, customer relations stuff, um, anything to do with gaming, anything to do with the internet, anything to do with business. Those are all things that I really love um, to do. I would also love to run an animal sanctuary. I would also love, um, I just, I want to work with passionate, creative, strong, powerful people. And I want to make this world a better place in some way. So yeah, I don't know anything, anything that pertains to that. If I can figure that out somehow, it will, it'll, it would come to me. Would I ever try short hair again? That's a good question. I haven't cut my hair since January, so it's kind of crazy. And I haven't dyed it since January either. So this is all my natural color that you guys are seeing right now. Natural kitty, hello. Um, yeah, I would definitely try short hair again. I actually shaved my head a long time ago and I really, really liked it. <laughs> to be honest, I'm not gonna shave my head again. I've already done that, but 
Um, yeah, I think like a bob or like a faux bob or something like that would be cute. But I also really love having long, sexy hair when you're in the bath or the shower and you look down and you're like a mermaid because it covers your boobs. I don't know, just little things in life that make me really happy and that's one of them. All right, guys, I just want to tell you that I love and appreciate you so much. I hope you enjoyed this Q&A. Leave me a comment down below with any questions that you might have because I'm going to film a part two to this uh, so you guys can get to know me a little better because I've been doing a lot of content gaming wise just every single day and I want to get to know you and I want you get to get to know me. I love and appreciate you so much. I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful, amazing day. You are good. You are loved. You are worthy of living an amazing life. And I'm so excited to see what you accomplish. And I love and appreciate you. So have a wonderful day. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.